Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Uh, at the end of the last episode, uh, we got some research into the uh, Antediluvian Civilizations, I think it was. Uh, so we have two more missions uh, for seeking Dr. Symes. Uh, this one is going to be a long time before we can get to it, but we can reach this one. So I'm actually going to send the Denture Team down to this now. Uh, it's going to take them a while to get there, but that's fine. And while they're doing that, uh, our other team is just resting up at Phoenix Aeronautics for a couple of hours before we're going to send them down to the forge to go and defend it. And once we've initiated a supply flight. Oh yeah, that's over here. Uh, once... Uh, once we've got our satellite uplink built here, we'll start scouting out this area a little bit better. I probably could have um, rested for another five hours or so. Ooh, the Scyther. It's a two-handed melee weapon. Um, it's very dangerous. 300 damage, 30 shred, and it attacks in an arc. Uh, in terms of manufacturing it, it takes a lot, as you can see. It doesn't actually take any uh, protein butane, so I can get two of these on the go right now and not worry about it. Uh, I also want to get another shard gun while I think about it, because the shard guns are blooming amazing. There we go. I think that'll be that'll be a good selection of things. Uh, they're going to reach us in just a couple of hours, so let's uh, let's set out a warm welcome for them, and then after that we'll uh, we'll go and protect Anu. So this is a Pandoran attack coming to this place. Uh, Vincent has healed up a little bit, but it is just a little bit. He obviously needs quite a bit more. Uh, to to be safe. He'll get there. Who knows, I might even get him to use a medkit. Maybe. Objective, kill all enemies. This time it's going to be Pandorans rather than um, Antediluvians. So, as always, let's get the frenzy on. Uh, this is actually stopping us seeing a lot of stuff, which is a little bit annoying. I'd like to get someone in to start scouting. So let's get Vincent moving forwards first just to get an idea on where things are. Because most of the work is going to be done by Nina and with a good good target over there, I think that's, that's going to work really well for us. So rapid clearance, get the big weapon out and then the first dash is going to get us almost all the way there. When she gets a Scyther, she'll be able to stand here and attack in this direction and kill both of these with one go. Oh, we've got more. Cool. They must be terrifying for these guys. See uh, Nina bearing down on you. With an anger and a quickness. Uh, let's dash over to this side. Yeah, loads more things to see. Uh, we've got three swings, so... One... Two... 
three. Nina is going to take some damage from this, so I think we'll leave it to last. Because we can always do it with a shard gun. If we get in a good position to do it, that is. In fact, this is a pretty good position. Ooh. If she was a little bit more damaged, that would have killed it. Right, well, this thing's going to bleed out. That's fine. Nina's done a good job there. The rest of the team, let's, uh, let's have you see what else we have on the map. It's unlikely it's the only thing left, but it might be. And the more we scout, the more we find out. I don't want to overstretch though, so really I shouldn't be running quite as far. I do it with Nina because um, I'm reckless, but it's never a good idea to over overstretch. Because the one time that you get too cocky is the time that it's going to come back to bite you. So at least they're, they're going up together. Over on this side, I'm uh, pretty certain that the center bit is safe, so let's move Lucy to here. Mathieu. Down in this way. We do have another Triton right at the very back. So we could get Isaac in and try and do some sneaky snipey stuff. Can't wait. <coughs> yeah, let's uh, let's try that. Watch out, I'm moving in. So over to the crossbow. Oh, it thinks you're not gonna be able to see with that. We'll try it, just in case. Oh yeah, that's uh, hopeful. Not that much of a surprise. Not even worth us going on Overwatch with it, but we'll, we'll go on Overwatch. And Matty will bring you down to lend some support. So hopefully Nina won't get shot in the back. That's really what I'm hoping for. Uh, you've got two action points. We could try and get a grenade over the back to help out. Yeah, it's not gonna not gonna reach. That's that's risky might hit the thing in front. Yeah, not worth it. I'm not sure about this. All right, let's uh, let's see if my overconfidence has come back to bite us. Okay, did not see him moving up to here. Shot in the gun. 70 damage. So it wouldn't have killed Nina. We got very lucky with that. Nine, 91 health. That should have gone very badly. Ah, oh, we've got more targets. Amazing. Uh, we're going to leave this thing. Someone else can kill it. Did that actually affect Nina? Was that close enough to affect Nina? 
If so, those things have a huge explosion range. Yes, that was close enough. My word. Yeah, that was a big ol' acid explosion. Uh, Lucy. Just to be safe. Use something that casts this. Now there is still more left on the map. And this is where things might become problematic because we need to get them killed. Or it might actually be that they're still spawning in. And the evac point is over there. So trying to get Nina back to the evac point. It's, it's doable, of course. I'd just rather not unless I have to. What was that? Shouldn't be sending Vincent in to scout, but What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Let's go. Yeah, what I'm what I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm trying to buy myself out of my mistakes. And I think that we've got more stuff that hasn't spawned in that is going to spawn in, and that's Moving in. That's why the mission is still going on. So I'm gonna have to evac Nina. And we'll just have to deal with the other stuff as it comes in. So Nina, you can dash this way. Look at that trail of acid. Good job, soldier. Go, um, go like lie in some salt or something. I think we'll just have to deal with whatever else is left when it comes in. I was born ready. Uh, Matty, I'm going to send you just up to here, actually. I think that'll work well enough. Haven't seen anything new coming, but there's this whole section up here that there could be things in. Just like this guy. All right, there's more than one here. Kind of fine. We're going to be able to What's do some explodey fun. Sure. So, boom blast. I hope this helps. Get a grenade over on both of them. get you like right down in here and have you shoot at both of them down the side so let's let's do that I'm sure I'm not gonna regret this yeah getting getting a good eyes on them rolling out side well a 
little hit is better than no hit. Matthew, you are so far away, you're not going to be able to get grenades over. So let's let's get Isaac with his uh, crossbow going. So first things first, this guy. Uh, we're going to pierce through everything. So he is dead. He just doesn't know it yet question is, can we shoot through him to the other guy? Sort of in the carapace. But not really. Okay, I need to take this guy out of the way. It's a real shame, but if I'm, if I'm gonna have chance to take the other guy's like arm out <laughs> that's what I need oh no still unharmed no that's bad Does this guy have any other offensive things? No, he doesn't. Great. In that case, Isaac is uh, is feeling a lot happier. I'm going in. So often the case with me, though. Charging soldier, deal with the situation when you get there. Yeah, yes. Slightly more dangerous than originally anticipated. Don't worry, soldier, you'll be fine. More often than not, they end up getting injured slash shot. And yeah, we'll be maturing as well. Let's rock. This guy might just leave. Yeah, he's just left. And I think he was the last one. Awesome. Very happy with that. So with the defense done, that means we can actually think about what we want the Polish team to be doing. We do obviously uh, have a whole bunch of, uh, of things that it wants us to take care of. Most of them are down, down in the south. Oh yes, we've got that, uh, that haven defense. Let's do that. Arthur and Bane Prime. Eh. Viral weapon. Acid worms. This thing looks nasty. And the abandoned winged ships. Yeah, don't wanna don't wanna run into any of those. We're down to 68% on the uh, humanity population. Uh, let's uh, wait for both teams to arrive. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have time to do uh, seeking Dr. Symes. Uh, so this archaeological site may be related to the antediluvian civilization discovered by Randolph Symes III. If we can secure it, we may be able to figure out where Symes went next. Uh, this would be good for us, because uh, it's going to move the plot along. Uh, I haven't re-geared after the salvage mission. I don't think that's really going to be much of a problem. We do have a couple of minor injuries, but nothing that we can't handle. And you know, we have a tank. So, a couple of enemies already visible. Uh, we need to get into the center. I think Amelia is going to be the one that does the central charge. 
We're just gonna have to move Let's do this. Eileen slightly out of the way. So not quite gonna make it in one go, but with some onslaught we can. And we might be able to push through to the other side, depending on how lucky we are with the uh, the arrangement of the mobs. Receiving loud and clear. Okay, onslaught. Rapid clearance. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna to be touchy, but we should be able to do it. So dash up. Dash up. We'll go for you first. Then we'll go for you. Oh, and then we can't quite make it far enough for the next one. That is a shame, and there is a lot around here. Uh, we could do a shout and then we can leave. Um, but the other things that we can do is we can start bombing them. Hoping that the trees aren't going to be in the way. Let's... Well, we're going to need to move closer, aren't we? No two ways around that. So, boom blast. I would really like to be able to do more. Like, be just that little bit closer, but it's it's not to be. So, this boom blast is uh, is a little bit wasted. Decent chunk of armor gone What's from that, plan? though. <laughs> so your quick aim, what can we shoot at? And is it going to be... Uh, it will be effective, but we need to reposition slightly just so we don't have a mishap. Let's go this way. Tank is a little bit limited in, in where it can get to. Think this could work. A couple of shots on the shield. It's not gonna, not gonna do much. Raphael will bring you up for next turn, and then we've got Mart on as well that we can do some stuff with. Aiming. That's not a bad shot, actually. Scorpion is a very good weapon. So that's obviously going to become an umbra, but that can benefit us next turn, potentially. Right there. Let's come over here. And we'll see what the angle looks like from from you up this way. So you might be able to shoot this, you might be able to shoot that a little. I think it's worth us What's our move? Doing a quick aim shot. 
Or at least checking it out. Oi, I wasn't Ready. done. Preparing to fire. Yeah, maybe not on him, but certainly on, on the siren. We'll keep doing a whole bunch of those. Here. What's our move? We can do this another three times. move just such a shame that it always ends up uh, deselecting your person it'd be nice to be able to turn that off oh that was oh, way no. wide Not what are we doing? Uh, ready Okay, the torso is gone. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder if it's close enough to die that we can just kill it by blapping through the tail. Yes! It hasn't gained us any, um, uh, any action points. But it has gained us a little bit of freedom. So probably the best thing for us to do at the moment is to get behind this cover over here. And now Amelia is safe. Not bad, not bad. Uh, except maybe from this thing. Oi! Stop damaging my armor. Always chipping the paintwork. Really, the, the big concern at the moment is the Umbra and how far it can move. These, these we can clear up. So actually, it didn't. Awesome. Okay, rapid clearance. We'll start with this guy who's going to be two swings. And then work our way back through the others. He's also going to be two swings. Oh, sorry, one swing. So now we're making a profit. I could have sworn the guy that we killed there was going to have an umbra in him. Maybe it was only this guy. So we're going to have to dash to here to get this. Then we can dash to this guy and kill him. And then we can carry on leaving. So the only thing that we've got still around at the moment is... Ah! Oh! There is an umbra, he's just right over in the back. Well, maybe that wasn't the most sensible position to run to. Can we get eyes on that umbra? So it'd have to 
be like all the way over here really that doesn't look it's not a good look other options would be coming at it from over here somewhere Pretty hopeful. Pretty hopeful. Okay, what we'll do is we'll come in here and we'll be prepared for next turn. Close. Go wide if it comes into like this area. Get it. No, we hit it at that range. Okay, second number is up. This thing is just a pincer and it's going the wrong way, of course it is. Oh, this is going to hurt. Youch. Youch on both of those. Hit it. Hit it more. And over here, hit it. We're going to have to get a melee. But that is the mission complete. So, Raph got some more experience, which is always good. And, was this the right place of the two? I really hope it was. We've recovered a shattered metallic sphere of unknown origin. Most likely an antediluvian artifact. The writing inside it, or what's left of it, seem to match what we find in Symes' notes. Based on the data we've been able to decipher, it seems Symes organised an expedition to the place he believed held the ultimate answer to the riddle of the antediluvians and the Pandora virus. With the last remaining Phoenix Project operatives, he set out for Antarctica. They did not return. Perhaps we can finish their work. That's what the Phoenix Project's always been about. No one can do it alone, and each generation continues the struggles of its ancestors. We have to go to Antarctica. Alright, so I'm I'm definitely going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to go to Antarctica. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to um, sort out some, some healing for the team. Uh, Amelia. Let's, let's give you two just so I don't forget for next time where's Raphael we'll try and remember to to heal you up I, I'm pretty certain that I won't forget um, but unfortunately we are out of time for today so thank you very much for coming along everyone I do hope you have enjoyed this oh, actually we can just send them back here for a little bit let's, let's do that It'll only take a moment to just get them returning. Uh, and next time, of course, we are going to be doing the Haven. Uh, so, uh, as always, if you have enjoyed this, be sure to give a big thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.